everyone. This is going to be a very short micro tip. In this video, I just wanted to share how I use NotePlan for some ongoing projects that I have where I have certain deliverables every month, but it's not a daily task at all. I just have to work on delivering a couple of things each month. Here's one example. I did a video series and at the top of my note, I just used a couple of hashtags for organization that I use. And then I had some notes here. I have these hashtags, which were from the company itself, which are hashtags to use on social media, but not hashtags that I want visible in NotePlan. I don't want them to actually be my NotePlan hashtag. So what I do for that is I actually use code blocks to create a code block in NotePlan. You just use ticks like this type your code and that's why it turned red, but that also means it doesn't show up in your hashtag search area in NotePlan, which is what I want. And then what I do is I just will have like one bullet point to remind me. For example, if I don't need to work on this project again until the end of the month, then I just have one task that reminds me, okay, on the 30th of this month, remember to go back and work on the next thing in this series that I need to work on. Sometimes I leave a bunch of them here. Like I've obviously been working on this for a couple of months. So sometimes I will have the old ones like for example, if I had done this every month since September, maybe it would look like this and then I would check them off as I go. Honestly, a lot of times what I do is instead of having the record here, I don't really need the record here because I keep track of it in my daily notes and I don't care for the repetition. So I usually just delete it. Basically when I finish this task, then I just move it to the next month. So then I remember to check back on the series every month. And then underneath of that, I just work. So each month I can collapse it down if I don't need it anymore. Normally I actually put the newest thing on the top, but for this one, I don't know, I was just working down in order because I didn't have that many of them yet, but usually I put the newest stuff on the top. And that's really, I wanted to keep this very quick and very simple, but that's how I do a lot of my projects that are ongoing. And then what I have is I actually have this open task note and this open task note is like my dashboard where I have a section for the ongoing projects. And it's just a quick list of things that I have that are ongoing so that I can find them all in one place. Usually if I'm doing the brainstorming, I keep it all in note plan myself, but some of those ongoing projects I'm working with teams on that are using like Google Docs, for example. And so then I would just keep all my notes in that one project note. So again, it's just like my dashboard of projects that I'm working on within the individual project note is where I try and put any follow-up that I need to do, which reminds me to come back to this note. So I don't have to keep it in my mind. I know on this date I'm going to be working on it and I better change this back to the proper date. All right, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Bye for now.